Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Caspa coin using your Windows based computer in less than 10 minutes. So if that all sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video as there's a ton of different tips and tricks that will allow you to earn more Caspa coin in less amount of time using your Windows computer and I'd hate for you to miss out on those. So before we dive into the video today, I do like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a look at what's going on in the markets as a point of reference, if you happen to be watching this video in the future. If you're not interested in this, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the site then. But overall, as you can see here, crypto is up about 2.25% today to about $2.7 trillion, Bitcoin back over $71,000, which is awesome to see. And overall, crypto is moving up with a lot of meme coins like Doge, uh, Bonk, Shiba Inu, uh, the dog with hat coin. Those are all doing really well. But of course, today we are looking specifically at Caspa or KAS coin. Now, if you're not familiar with this coin, this is actually something relatively new that has become very popular among the mining community. There are tons of great very powerful, very profitable ASIC miners out there, but with ASIC miners comes a lot of other issues. I think they are great options, but they definitely are not for everybody as they require a lot of power, make a lot of noise, and generate a lot of heat. And they're also very expensive to buy and get into, so very high cost of entry, whereas if you were to start mining with a GPU or CPU, using this tutorial today, you would be up and running, and yes, you might not be making as much as if you went out and bought an ASIC, but the cost of entry is much lower. So let's go ahead and jump into the site. So we are taking a look here at Unminable. Now traditionally, Unminable is used for coins that are not actually mineable coins, but in this case, Caspa is a mineable coin, and because it's so popular on ASICs, you can actually still mine this using GPU and CPU. You might be asking how is that possible and is it even worth it because you know the coin's expensive, the difficulty's high, and really what you're actually doing is picking the most profitable algorithm and mining the most profitable coin for that algorithm, and then Unminable actually converts it over and pays you out in Caspa. So, how do we go ahead and get started with this? So once you're at the site here, and the link is in the description below, highly recommend you check it out. Go ahead and select Get Started with our wizard. Once you get to here, you have basic and advanced. Basic mode is going to be sufficient for 99% of people watching. If you're interested in setting your server, your port, worker names, things like that, you can definitely go with advanced, but I'll be going with basic since that is most likely what most will use. Here you can select if you're going to be GPU or CPU mining. I'm going to go ahead and choose GPU, but just know that if you do go with the CPU route, you can pretty much follow the tutorial the exact same, except when it does come time to choose your algorithm, just choose one that is most profitable for your CPU. So here you can select your mining algorithm. Now if you're not familiar with what is the most profitable algorithm for your specific hardware, I would recommend checking out the site What to Mine. It's a great site that breaks down uh, all of the most profitable algorithms and coins based on the hardware that you have. It allows you to enter in your hardware and it will tell you, you know, what you should be choosing here. Now for me, and my guess is for most people watching, the most profitable is going to be the Kapow algorithm. I'm going to go ahead and base the tutorial off of this. There is not a huge difference, um, you know, if you go with any of these other algorithms. Here you'll go ahead and choose Caspa coin and enter in your wallet. Now, Unminable won't actually let you continue forward if it detects that your address is invalid. So if you do get that error, please make sure that the address is correct. And again, make sure that even if you don't see that error, this address is correct, because if you do end up putting in the wrong address, you will still be able to mine, but you actually won't be able to get paid out. So it would suck to you know make it to their minimum payment and then realize that, hey, I didn't you know, get the right address entered. You can always come back and do this process again and change the address, but those coins you've already mined will not get paid out. 
So once you do this, go ahead and say next, and we are on the last step before starting to download the miner. I do want to take a brief second here to mention that I do have a referral code down in the description below. It is just Bitcoin-Tips with a capital B and a capital T. If you use this referral code, you will actually save on your pool fee. So it supports the channel and it actually helps you earn a little bit more Cospa coin. Traditionally, the pool fee here on Unminable is 1%. So if you mine 100 Caspa coins, one coin is going to the pool. No matter if you mine that 100 coins in an hour or 10 days, whatever, you are going to be paying that one coin fee. And if you use this, you are actually reducing your fee by 25% to a 0.75% fee. So it actually allows you to keep more of the coins you earn and grow your holdings faster. So do check that out. Uh, it is greatly appreciated if you do use it. it. helps us both out. But if you are not interested, you can go ahead and continue without that referral code and pay the higher fee. So here you can go ahead and say next, and we are on the final step. This is pretty much when you just choose whatever mining program that you want. I would recommend Gminer. This is the one that I am going to be using here. I've had really good luck with it in my personal mining experience, but all of these other ones do work really well. The only thing I will call out here is if you do decide to use something other than Gminer, make sure it supports your hardware. As you can see, Team Red and T-Rex Miner here support only AMD and NVIDIA GPUs respectively here. So keep that in mind that you need to choose a miner that is compatible with your hardware. If you don't do that, you may run into issues or you will run into issues. So once you choose your miner, go ahead and select download miner files. This will take you to their GitHub. And as you can see here, you just go ahead and download the Windows 64 zip. Please make sure you un, un extract that there or extract it. But uh, if you don't do that, you will not be able to mine. So once you go ahead and extract that, you'll have a folder with a bunch of files in it, and you need to come back to Unminable and select download.bat file. Now, when you download this, you will most likely get a pop-up in your browser, whether it's Chrome, Firefox, Edge, whatever you're using, that says, hey, you're downloading an unverified file. Do you want to remove this and delete it? You will have to say, allow download. This is normal. Um, unfortunately, it's something that is a part of crypto. It looks like a bad file. The computer says, hey, you know, are you really sure? If you are not comfortable saying yes, unfortunately, there is no workaround. The workaround would be to just not mine. That's where you'll have to stop uh, through this tutorial. Now, I can personally say I've done this on both GPU mining rigs as well as my personal computer, and I've never run into issues, but I do like to mention that. So once you get that file downloaded, go ahead and drag it into the file with everything else here. And as you can see here, I have my unminable KAS Kapow Gminer.bat file. So at this point, all you have to do is double click this to get started. Now again, you are going to see a pop-up here that says, hey, Windows protected your PC. This is a you know unrecognized app, unrecognized file. You're gonna have to go ahead and say more info and run anyway. At this point, the window will pop up here and you will start mining. Now, again, if you are not comfortable doing that, letting it through your Windows Defender, unfortunately, there is nothing we can do. It is part of mining. It is not just Gminer. It's not just Unminable. It is most mining platforms. It's just a part of it. If you're not comfortable doing it, again, unfortunately, you'll just have to pass on mining. Um, but again, I've done this on many computers, uh, including my personal one, and I've never run into issues. But as you can see here, we are eight minutes and 40 seconds into the video, and we are up and mining Cospa coin using an RTX 2080 GPU mining to the Kapow net algorithm. So very, very cool. A couple other last few things I want to call out here. With mining to unminable, just a few things you may notice is it does take a little bit of time for stats to start reporting here on the pool when you go under your address tab. That is completely normal. Let it run for about 15 to 30 minutes and you should start to see some stats coming in. Also, on the other side, when you're ready to you know, use your computer or just not be mining for the time being, all you have to do to stop the miner is come here and click the X. 
Once that command prompt window is gone, not just minimized, but completely closed, you have stopped mining. The only reason I call this out is because with Unminable, you may actually continue to get paid and see stats here on the website for up to an hour or more after shutting the miner down. That is completely normal. Uh, you are, you know, as long as that command prompt is closed, you are no longer mining and can use your computer for other things or just shut it down altogether. So even if you do continue to get paid a little bit, that's awesome. It's you know extra caspa for you, but just know that you are no longer mining. So with that being said, again, the link to Unminable as well as the referral discount code is in the description below. I highly recommend that if you do start mining, whether it's Caspa or any other coin here on the site, use that referral code, save that 25% on your fee, and continue to build your crypto holdings. If you do run into any issues throughout this whole process, feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.